It's Friday, December 21st, 2007. I'm James Kotecki, and this is Playbook TV. During his Faith in America speech, Mitt Romney said he saw his father march with Martin Luther King. When confronted by the Boston Phoenix and Detroit Free Press, Romney claimed he had been speaking figuratively, not literally. He didn't see it with his own eyes, but he was aware of his father's participation. As further quoted by the Detroit Free Press, Romney further defended himself by pointing out that he is an English literature major. Look, Governor, just because what you're saying may be technically correct, according to your academic grasp of the English language, the average American is not an English major. The average American used to beat up English majors on the playground. And then, as now, no amount of rhetorical clarification will save you from the wedgie I see you receiving. Not that it's an actual wedgie that I actually see you getting, of course, but you already know that. Next, the Washington Post reports that John McCain is battling allegations he did favors for a lobbyist. But since it's the holidays, let's watch his Christmas ad instead. On Christmas, that same guard approached me, and without saying a word, he drew a cross in the sand. We stood wordlessly looking at the cross, remembering the true light of Christmas. Wait a minute, stop the tape. Now, listen, I know this might sound crazy, but I think there's a secret cross drawn in the sand. Squint real hard. Do you see it? Is this some kind of subliminal message John McCain is sending to Christian voters? I, for one, am outraged that he would even think of including a cross in a Christmas story about a guy who drew a cross. What is this, some kind of theocracy? That is, of course, if it is a real cross in that picture, my mind sometimes plays tricks on me and I say things that aren't there. Finally, CBS News reports that Barack Obama said at a recent speech that it didn't make sense that someone with a 47% disapproval rating would be making an argument that he couldn't win the general election. But he said he wasn't going to mention any names. Obama was content to simply tell the audience that her name started with H and ended with Hillary Clinton. Well, that's it for today. Say check out politico.com slash playbook for more stories. And make sure you come back to politico.com next week because even though I will be out on vacation, we will be announcing the winner of our holiday song parody contest right around Christmas. And Wednesday through Friday, you can find three special best of episodes where I count down the top nine Playbook TV segments of 2007. Have a great holiday. I will be back on New Year's Eve to get you pumped up for the Iowa caucuses. And don't worry, whether you actually watch us or just have a general awareness of our existence, we're glad to see you too, right here on Playbook TV.